Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you how to take your PDF, your worksheet that normally that maybe you would print out and how to digitize it so students can just type in the answer and we're going to be using Google Slides and at the end of it this I'll show you how to hand this out to them inside Google Classroom. So it will look like this. So I'll just go ahead and click on a spot and then they can write their answer right in and it's quite easy to make and you're using Google Classroom is easy to hand them all out. Let's get started doing this today on Teachers Tech. All right, so before I start, I just want to say I did purchase this package here. I'm not going to be altering it um, at all. I'm going to keep the creator's name on it at the beginning. I'm not retyping this out, and I wouldn't recommend retyping any of this out because there's a lot faster ways to do this. But the main thing is I am going to be turning this into an image. Uh, so the main thing is we even if you had uh, you didn't have the digital copy, if you created something on paper, you could take a picture and of that and bring it in the same way that I'm going to do. Now, first of all, I have this open in Adobe Acrobat DC and you might have this on your computer or not, depending um, what you've already have installed. I could just go in, I'm just going to mention this. If you go up to file, you can see there's export and you can export all your PDF pages as images here. So I could go through and export them and all my pages in here would turn into images. But some of you might not have this. So I'm going to show you a different way on this. Um, so what I'm going to be using, and I'm just going to go back to the right page that I have on, I'm going to do the onomatopoeias here. And I'm going to zoom up because what I want to capture is make sure I capture the, as, uh, the whole page. I'm going to go, so I'm on a Windows computer right here. I'm going to go to snip it, uh, the snipping tool, and I just typed it in and it should be on your Windows free. There, Mac will have its capture tool um, also on it. Uh, Command Shift 4, if you hit all those together, that will come up and you can do kind of the same thing. I'm going to go new right here. And now it allows me to draw, take my uh, crosshairs up here, and I'm gonna just draw over here right to the very bottom to keep it in the same proportions here. Right about there. All right, that's close enough. So you can see what I captured there. This is the image, it took a picture of that. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to save this. And so if I just go uh, up, to, up to file here, and then I want to go to save as. Where do I want to save it? And I already saved it once here before because I was doing a test on everything. And I'll just put this as two, uh, English Language Arts 2, and I'm good with that. All right, so that's the first step. I have a picture. Like I said, you could have an image from your phone. You could be exporting it right from PDF. But now I'm going to go over to Google and open up Google Slides. Okay, so I'm just in my Google Drive right now. I'm already logged in. I'm gonna go and open up Google Slides. So I'm just gonna go up to my app launcher here and Slides is right here. And when this opens, I'm gonna start a blank presentation right here. At this point, I need to change the size of the page because this is in uh, for presentations for a computer and I don't want that. I want the size of a piece of paper an eight and a half by 11. Um, so what I can do uh, is if I go up to file here, click on file and then look down here and it says page setup. I'm going to click on page setup and this is the default, the 16 to 9, the aspect ratio that we see right now. I'm going to click on this one and go to custom. Now we go 8.5 by 11 for our sheet of paper. So the nice thing is if you're doing other things in Google Slides, remember you can do a lot of custom, um, you know, you create whatever you want to do, apply this over and over again. So I'm just going to hit apply. You can see how everything changed. I'm just going to close this side window down to get this centered. Now we have some text boxes on here already, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. You just click on them, hit, hit click on the edge. So if I click on the blue uh, line there and then hit just delete on my computer then it uh, can go away or you can right click and cut too. Now I have this blank page. So this is where I bring in uh, the image. I don't want to bring it in. A lot of people would think just insert image like that. Well you don't want to do that because it's going to move around and if you give it to the students they'll grab it and it'll move around and it'll be a pain or they hit delete on it and it's gone. What we want to do is you can see there's the background right here. I'm going to just click on the background and where we could change color and everything like this. Well, I want to put an image. So I'm going to go ahead and choose image. 
I need to browse. I'm under upload right here. If you had it in your Google Drive, you could go connect to your Google Drive right here, but I am under upload. I'm going to hit browse. And these are the two that you can see ELA2 is that what I'm uploading. Remember, you, if you took that picture, uh, I had a different uh, video where I talked about scanning on your iPhone using notes. You could scan that in and upload it and do the same thing. I'll put a link to that video too if you're interested. But I'm going to go ahead and hit open on this one. So it's uploaded now, I'm gonna hit done. And you can see uh, how I captured it in that proportion of the same size of page. Now it's taking up the whole page. Uh, and I can't grab this, right? I can't move this around or anything. It's, it's there, it's the background on it. So now all we need uh, to do now is add text boxes to it. And how we do that is you can see there's a text box tool here. And now I could have a number of different pages. So maybe there's multiple pages I could put into one document and do the same thing uh, through it. And the nice thing is in Google Classroom, we'll make copies for everything. I'm gonna hit the text box. And at this point, actually I'm gonna zoom up a little bit here just so we can see what we're doing a little bit more. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my text box again and I'm just gonna put a text box like this. So you could go through and draw out all the text boxes. The one thing is when you click off of it, it, you can't see it so the students you know if you have older students or if they're very familiar with Google Slides you could just put this in and give it to them and they could put their own text boxes on but you can see you can't see it if they click in it then it's there you could always always uh, write uh, I'll just put click here and then it then you can see if I move it up a little bit they'll know where to click so I could go through and click so maybe to even speed that up more and you don't have to type click here I know that's not a big deal but if I click again on just on the blue uh, make sure it's it's selected I'm just gonna go control C for copy and I'm gonna click off and go control V and now I can just go through and start moving these down very quickly and lining them up the way I want like this. So I'll just do a few more so you guys get the idea of this. And remember, if you have bigger spaces, so if I go down here and bring this one, oops, I missed that one, bring it right down here, you can change the size of these too. So you need a longer text box and then you could go back to go control C and control V again and you have a long, uh, larger text box. And if the worksheet is different, you can make these larger so that they have more room to write in or the students could even change the size of their font. So if they go in here, if they're writing more and they're running out of room, the font is right up here. So if they wanted to maybe write it smaller so they could get more, they could change that. Now, depending on the age group, uh, you know, and what you've taught them throughout the year and what they know, that could be a thing. Make it as easy as possible. Just put everything there for the, and they just click in it. So just some different options. And the nice thing is these pages, uh, again, if we go control C, control V on anything, it can copy. So control C, control V, I can make multiple pages of this. All right, so you can go through and set it up here uh, like this and you get these fillable PDFs using Google Slides. Okay, one last step, let's go over to Google Classroom and see how that we would hand that out to our students. I just wanted to make one last note before I leave here and I mentioned about changing the size of the font and remember they can change color. So whatever they're writing in here, uh, they can start typing and they can, I should spell things correctly here, um, but we have color in different font styles too, right? So right up top, uh, then they can start, uh, you know, uh, spelling whatever they want and typing whatever they want in different colors if they want to highlight it. Okay, so let's move over. I'm just gonna go back to my Google Drive. Uh, remember to launch Google Classroom. We're looking for this. If you haven't used Google Classroom, we got a full video on that. I'll put the link down below in the description in the card above. But uh, I already have Google Classroom open here. I have a demo here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna to go to my classwork because this is where I'm gonna assign everything. And I'm just gonna create an assignment. And there's this one thing I just wanted to point out when you do assign this. So if I just go create assignment, 
I'm just going to call this ELA and I'm not going to put very much for instructions. Uh, but now at this point, I'm just going to go add and I want to add this from my Google Drive because this is where this is saved from and it should come up as recent. You can see I'm going to go this one since I had two copies, but this is one I called ELA. I'm going to add. Now this is the thing I just wanted to point out when you send this out so students can view the file students can edit the file or make a copy. Now remember, students can view the file, uh, they won't be able to edit, they'll be able to view it, but if you want them to, what I would suggest is make a copy for each student, because uh, if you give students can edit a file, they'll edit the original file, uh, but if you make a copy, each student will get their own copy, so make sure you change that, uh, depending on what you want, if it's collaboration work or not, but in something like this, this makes a copy easily that gets pushed out to all the students. And then you just go ahead and hit assign, uh, depending on the points and everything. You can individualize this too, but again, take a look at my Google uh, Classroom tutorial if you wanna learn more about that. So I hope you like this tip today, uh, taking a from a worksheet, a PDF, and turning it into something that students, you could send it out and students could edit. And remember, you just need that image to bring into Google Slides to be able to do this, then add the text boxes on. Let me know what you think, if this works for you, what other things you're looking for, for tech tips for teachers. I do weekly content, and thanks for watching this week. I'll see you next time on Teachers Tech.